Welcome back to Dinosaur Deep Dive, a series where we closely examine each creature known to Ark Survival Evolved. In today's show, come with me as we take a look at an alpha predator that is known around Ark as one of the most terrifying and smart carnivores in-game. It has been known to roam in packs of three to four and has the speed, ferocity, and temper of a raging bull on steroids. This dinosaur is the Allosaurus. The Allosaurus, one of the world's most deadly predators and skilled apex hunters. This dinosaur was alive during the period known as the Late Jurassic. Now, normally, when asked about large alpha predators that lived millions of years ago, people tend to think about T-Rex. But in the time that Allosaurus was alive, it was known as the largest meat eater around. Allosaurus had the capability to rip and tear into medium-sized sauropods and even larger, more sickly ones such as Apatosaurus. Allosaurus was thought to be a pack hunter. If this was indeed the case, that means Allosaurus could ambush larger creatures and take them down with ease. Coming in at a staggeringly large 38 feet long and 16 and a half feet tall, this bipedal, muscular titan dominated the landscape that we now refer to as North America, Europe, and even parts of Africa. Now, within the confines of Ark Survival Evolved, this dinosaur is widely known as one you should probably stay away from. Going about taming one of these incredibly hostile and aggressive creatures is an act only sought out by the most skilled players on the Arcs. With varying spawn locations across almost every map, it can be very easy to run across these when out exploring or attempting to tame something else. Now, as mentioned earlier, Allosaurus is a pack-oriented dinosaur, similar to the direwolf in that it actually has an alpha boost, making the pack and the alpha stronger and tougher to kill. With that ability, it makes it so that Allosaurus is a viable replacement for Rex and Spinosaurus. Along with that, these dinosaurs excel at being great traveling dinosaurs. Reason being, very few things want to screw with the Allosaurus, so walking through rough terrain or being in a bad part of town will make it easier when riding this menace. Allosaurs can also act as proper base defense. When in a pack, they receive a boost and a buff to their stats, making them more efficient at cutting through any incoming invaders or unwanted company in the shape of pesky dillos and pegomastax. So now that the Allosaurus has been talked up a whole lot, let's see how to capture and tame one for ourselves. As previously mentioned, Allosaurus is one creature that is not to be trifled with it will rip into you faster than you can run. Their movement speed and damage output is insane. But if you're crazy enough to go after one, here's a helpful method to help you capture and tame one. Because the Allosaurus is so temperamental and unpredictable, each taming experience may vary. This trap may work and it may not, but it's worth a shot. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place six to eight dinosaurs in a hexagonal or octagonal shape. By doing this, you're increasing the chances of actually capturing the Allosaurus inside the trap. It is best to place as many large bear traps inside the trap as possible. Then you're going to isolate the desired Allosaurus. By doing this, you separate it from the pack and have increased chances of successfully trapping and taming it. Once the Allo has been isolated, Pull the Allosaurus into the trap by running right through the open gate and getting it stuck on one of the bear traps inside the trap. Once the Allo is stuck, quickly close all doors and begin tranking the dinosaur. Keep in mind that when the Allosaurus walks around inside, it may get trapped again on one of the bear traps. So it may be best to wait until all traps have been triggered inside to begin taming. Once it's trapped, Keep an eye out for its pack members if you did not kill them. They may return to see their pack mate. So, now that the aloe is knocked out, here's what you can feed it. And now that it's yours, 
let's go over some of the utilizations of Allosaurus. With its ability to be a fast-moving predator, it already has the leg up on Sluggish Rex and Spinosaurus. Although the damage output may be less than that of the Rex, multiple Allosauruses can be much more dangerous than one lonely Rex or Spino. When the Allosaurus is within a pack, the Alpha gains a special ability to cause bleed damage to the target. This slowly drains health and makes the target move much slower. A larger pack of Allosauruses is more than enough to cover certain areas of your base and keep them defensible from all incoming targets. And so there you have it. Everything you need to know about Allosaurus. How to find, trap, and tame this creature. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Dinosaur Deep Dive. And if you have, be sure to tune in Thursdays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for all new episodes of Dinosaur Deep Dive. Didn't get a chance to see last week's episode? No worries. Check the end of this video or click the top right-hand corner of this video. Join us next week when we take a look at the one, the only, Giga. Thanks for watching.